The gauge measuring the height of the water level in the Nueces River has slowly come down. But still, people who live near the river are seeing more and more water near their homes. We keep two bicycles down here, take the cars to high ground and wait out. Deborah Besba lives on Cub Lane, 13 miles from George West. She lives right next to the river and says she's experienced extreme flooding before. She also expects the water to rise by another foot. Plus, we've got rain every day scheduled in, and then um, we're fixing to be hitting hurricane season. So that's all those factors kind of keep you a little bit on anxiety. On County Road 365 off Farm Road 799, the river crested overnight. Emergency Management Coordinator Zach Durham tells us because of the flooding, four people who live in the area have decided to stay put and wait it out. Well, with after getting back in there with a high water vehicle to check on them this morning, they seem to be in high morale and they're well provisioned. Durham is the only person on the emergency management team. For the last week, he has knocked on doors, letting people know about the rising river levels. To see the water levels declining is a sigh of relief. 6080 was the initial prediction of actual affected persons. Um, as of current, I've seen potential of 12. While there have been no injuries and no extreme damage to homes, one major concern for the emergency management team and for people who live in low-lying areas is the possibility for more rain up in the north. If that happens, they're prepared to see more flooding on the roads and in neighborhoods. For Action 10 News, I'm Victoria Valderrama.